biggest event in my close to 18 yeah. years on air yeah. happened today. Yeah. Paul Watson, yeah. one of my best researchers, was about to come on as a guest. Yeah. He said, Alex, they have these big sites yeah. where guys dump some photos and news feeds. There are guys in uniforms, the same boots, the same pants, the same black shirts and coats, with backpacks all over the last mile. And there's people walking around with what looks like detonators in their hands. And all this is going on. And there's like patsies whose bags match the wreckage of what the news put on air and said was the remains of the black canvas bags. So we went on air with this. And five minutes after, it's during break, and I watch Wolf Blitzer panicking going, uh, oh, I guess they're going to arrest somebody later. And they've got all this evidence, and it's footage from inside a shopping center. I'm like, well, wait, that's the footage we've got. And so they were responding right then because they already knew about this. These were public videos and photos for almost two and a half days. And it was hiding in plain view because all over it are men wearing Navy SEAL caps, the Punisher logo that all the SEAL teams wear, identical to what Chris Kyle wore. And you see Chris Kyle in his photos wearing the tan combat boots, the tan pants, the black shirt, same deal over and over again, and we have the photos and the videos of all of this, and we have the eyewitnesses who've confirmed that indeed that they were told, it's a drill, don't worry about guys in backpacks everywhere. Uh, there were people on the roof with, with binoculars looking down onto the athlete village at the start. Um, there were dogs uh, with their handlers going around sniffing. Um, for explosives, and, and we were told on a um, loud announcement that we shouldn't be concerned if this was just a drill. So there were all these black backpacks so that police who weren't compartmentalized couldn't stop what was happening. And the real evidence of this uh, being a false flag 